Hi, I'm the Malta Activist, and welcome to another whiskey review. And we have with us probably the greatest selling whiskey in the whole world, the Jameson. Now you're probably wondering, you're like, dude, why are you reviewing the Jameson? Like who gives a shit about Jameson? Well, let me tell you something. Jameson is the reason we're drinking whiskey today, right? If you believe the whole thing about the Irish inventing whiskey, which I think they did, you know, I'm not really, I'm not hundred percent sure. And I don't want to stir up a debate uh, because um, uh, I have many Scottish friends and they don't like it when I say stuff like this, but I think the Irish did it. I think was the Irish. Anyway, so we have with us Jameson, which is the number one imported uh, whiskey in the US. It's it's the most consumed whiskey. And really, you know, it's uh, with whiskeys like these. And I, I always like to give, you know, a little tip of my hat to these, uh, these large scale whiskey uh, distilleries that bring whiskey into you know mainstream right uh, and hence we have a demand for whiskey overall which then also includes single malt whiskeys so it's thanks to the blends and it's thanks to the uh, you know the 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 Chivas Regal 12s and the Johnny Walker black labels and and the Jameson's that such a large demographic of people uh, drinks whiskey thanks to that and then they eventually move on to drinking more single malt whiskeys and a lot of the time those blended whiskeys uh, they uh, they make so much money for the distilleries and and the parent companies that they're able to you know uh, put out single malt whiskeys which to be fair are consumed by a minute percentage when you compare it to uh, those that consume blends. So, so the next time you go out and say, you know, oh, I don't like blends and I don't drink blended whiskey and whatever. Remember, it's because of them you get to drink single malt whiskeys. That's what I think anyway. Most Irish whiskeys are triple distilled and this is no exception. So this Jameson blend is a mix of pot still whiskeys and grain whiskeys, all triple distilled and then vatted together to make this particular blend. And do you know that Irish spell their whiskey with an E? And apparently, apparently, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I think it's a good story. Uh, apparently, they put the E in it because in the 20s and 30s, around the First and Second World War, Scotch used to be so bad, right, that the Irish wanted to differentiate themselves from Scottish whiskies and hence added the E. And they said, hey, we have E in our whiskey. That means our whiskey is better than that swill that the Scots make. Which probably uh, worked out in their favor because, like I said, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're killing it. Especially in the US, which is their largest market. So they, they, they send a lot of stuff there and people, people love this stuff. And I like it too. I'll tell you why. I have an affinity to Jameson purely because it's the one whiskey that I can go out to a bar and drink without having to think about anything, right? Uh, I'll get it uh, for myself uh, on the rocks, uh, so it you know, just kind of dilutes it a little bit, so I can have a conversation, and while I'm drinking it, it's just a pleasant drinking experience, it's sweet, it's floral, uh, and it's just so easy to uh, drink, dangerously easy to drink by the way, because there are times when I've lost track of the number of Jamesons I've drunk and it's not been a pretty sight. So that's how easy drinking this particular whiskey is. <sighs> yeah, sweet, completely uncomplicated. You know there's a lot of grain uh, whiskey in here. It's, it's uh, very, very floral, very, very fruity. I don't get a lot of, you know, the, the signature malted barley that I would get because, you know, a lot of it is unmalted. doesn't smell like a lot just smells sweet and pleasant and floral with you know um, with the lots of fruits <sighs> vanilla red fruits milk chocolate <sighs> this is this is a nice pleasant nose there's absolutely nothing wrong with this and you know um, 
uh, for any any elitist or snob who says, oh, I don't drink blended whiskey. Well, shut up, dude. There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, I don't want to say devoid of any character on the uh, on the palate, but that's what I expected, right? It's just... It's just sweet. It doesn't have a lot of spices, barely any spices. Um, yeah, it's uh, bottled at 40%, so it doesn't make that much of a dent uh, on your palate. And again, I am not, I'm not promoting this as a sipping whiskey. I'm not promoting this as something that you want to sit down with and you know uh, discover the finer nuances of uh, whiskey drinking. No, uh, even on on the Jameson website, uh, it just opens up on, hey, you can make cocktails with this, or you can put ginger ale in it or put uh, put uh, put two cans of diet coke in there hey nobody cares so that's that's what this whiskey is for and that's why i wanted to put it out there um uh, so the next time you're in a bar and you're thinking oh what do i drink i want to have a whiskey but you know i don't want to i don't want to sit and be like oh that smells like raspberries and coconut no i just want to sit and just have a drink and for me that drink is this jameson It's um, it's uncomplicated. It's uh, very pleasant. It's sweet. Um, drop a few cubes of ice in there, and you're guaranteed a nice, perfectly reasonable evening with this drink. Can't go wrong. And that was my tip of the hat to Jameson that have been championing whiskey in the world. And thanks to them, we get to drink single malts because you know, like I said. They put whiskey in the hands of people and then those people go and ask for different types of whiskeys and then they ask for single malts and then then distilleries say hey people are asking for single malts so let's make some single malts and then people like you and me the snobs we get to ride on the coattails of these guys so thank you thank you jameson thank you thank you uh shivas regal and johnny walker and all of you guys who are championing the cause my hats off to you so thank you. Thank you for joining me for this lovely whiskey review. I am the malt activist. Until next time. Peace.